Ready, go. What the fuck, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Long, dude. What's Whoa. up? In the building, dude. We got a... Uh, <laughs> you know what? Actually, I just got... Uh, I was on the the dip pods that you told me to get on, and then yeah. I had to quit those because they yeah. were taking over my life. These... these Two yeah. cigarettes per pot, he tells me. Yeah, they really? are. They're, they're too much. I'm addicted to them. The He's all addicted to Lucy's. <laughs> and it's a weird one. Well throw it out there. I'm also getting addicted to I mean, podcast Lucy's sponsors. Dude. <laughs> I'm laughing at that Kratom guy. It's like substance, dude. I'm sitting here addicted to these substances. I'm shilling out to the <laughs> fucking people. Now I'm addicted. Are you addicted to Lu- what are you, are you addicted to Lucy's? Yeah, they're good. They'll come out with a new product to help everyone get off Lucy's. That'll be yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm guys, gonna need are that. you addicted? Are you addicted to the shit we gave you? No, they got you constantly on the run right now. The what? From one thing to another, yeah. you go from cigarettes to vapes to true. Then you go back on cigarettes, then you go back on the pods, which is two, it's two cigarettes. Good for Philip Morris, so just sticking with it. it. Everyone's ain't. like, that's, play, that's <laughs> fucking evil, dude. Dude, and eventually they're like, get, no, no, Lucy rules. We're not disparaging for, for, our for sponsor. Not. What's Lucy? It's our sponsor, dude. Because I, I was thought you were talking about a Lucy cigarette, like what six no. nine was ratting on people. No, for. that's illegal, dude. <laughs> yeah, we never illegal. sponsor illegal sale of cigarettes. There's one guy that sells Lucy's in my neighborhood, but he. It literally fingers them all up with his hands. Oh, God. And, and I asked him twice, I go, hey, if you're going to give me cigarettes, can you touch it with not the filter? <laughs> Keeps handing to Oh, you're mad at the guy selling Lucy's? <laughs> <laughs> you're complaining about service? Like, be careful. Fucking... You be careful, you're though. That's a risky filter. business. <laughs> Lucy's? Sale of Lucy's, yeah. Selling Lucy's in New York will get you fucking strangled you to death fucked by up, the yeah. cops, dude. <laughs> yeah, too, <two> God, <got laughs> fucked up. You got the death penalty for that. <laughs> he did. These guys don't care. They have, the, they have a lighter attached to the thing ready to go. You light it in the oh, store. Oh, they light it for you? Oh, oh, they don't that's, care. Kind of, that's actually kind of nice. You live in Brooklyn? It's great. No, this is uh, East Village. Oh, nice. Uh, he's got the lighter. Yeah, yeah. Most like you'll be just normal people coming in to buy the paper, and some guys, you know, lighting a cigarette on the, on the string. It's kind of gentlemanly, though. <laughs> it is. If I were, if I own a convenience store, I would just like sell that guy cigarettes. I'm like, yo, sell Lucy's outside and light everyone when they come out. Give them a little light. It's very. That's a nice touch. It is a nice touch. The funny part is, most people that buy the Lucy's, they buy two or three and they keep it in the same pack, so they always have one pack of cigarettes. They just like refill it three at a time. <laughs> kind of nice. Nice little racket they got going on. What the fuck was that? Yeah, I, uh, I'm glad I never got addicted to nicotine. Very happy. It's nice. I'm telling you, I might start. I might get into it. It is funny that people go back to cigarettes. I think it's more of a getting into in your 30s thing now. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think so too. That's Why when I started doing coke. 30s. Once I hit my 30s, I was like, it's time for me to invest in stride. doing cocaine. See how that does. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's not. I guess that's not a bad one. The wait at least. Wait, wait you're, at least you're more mature. Wait until my heart's mature. <laughs> yeah, get your heart. Nice get my mature. get very overweight, and then it's like, all right, now it's time. Frontal cortex is formed of your heart. Yes, now yeah, it's time. It's a bad one to get caught up on. Cocaine. Yeah. Yeah, it's a rough one. It's a bad one, especially Almost. when it completely takes a hold of a per- like takes a hold of a person. <laughs> it fucking stinks. It takes a hold of girls hard too. Oh girls. man, girls yeah, get does. rocked by <laughs> Okay. Dude, it kill, it's everything they need. It's perfect. It really They're like, is. I don't eat anything. They don't eat. It. I've I've seen girls like go gray in complexion from coke. They get beezed up. They get, they get beezed. Our buddy six, you and Brian six. Yeah. Anytime he gets on drugs, his face just goes gray. <laughs> he loses all blood. Dude. It was a vamp. It's, it's fucking crazy. He's sort of a red guy to begin with. Too, he right? is red, and then he'll just come into a room. You'll be like, oh fuck, dude, what happened? He's like. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> oh. Yeah, dude. That's a uh, girl. It fu- girls. First of all, love coke. Adderall is girls. Now that's, they're all that's added their, up. Like they all went back to like 1950s when we used to give housewives like. Remember that we used to give <laughs> dude, housewives like Adderall Valium is designed, and fucking meth. It's perfect for ladies. They just clean and don't eat. They can get them mean though. They, you just they get a get, perfect, and then they get a little nasty. They get dude. cranky, dude. They run the out of Adderall. Like, 
and then they they stop cleaning and they start munching and they sit there, dude. <laughs> start munching. <laughs> they start fucking yeah. munching and they start and yapping at you. I can tell yeah. too. I remember dating a girl that she was, and they'd always be like, "I'm not on." And I go, "Listen, I don't care. We're not even that like yeah. in a relationship yet." And she goes, "I never did." Blah blah. And you go, "Is a visibly different person." <laughs> yeah, yeah. You go, you, <laughs> two completely different people. Yeah. yeah, I like when people try to hide their drugs. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Like my sister was trying to hide that she was on heroin. <laughs> it's so funny. Wow. Yeah, it's a tough she one. She was just like, yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, yo, what are you doing? The best like, is hiding it from why? people who don't care. Yeah, you go, I'm not your girlfriend. Yeah. If you want to do coke, do coke, yeah. dude. I don't care. Dude, the best, my friend would do, oh, I think I, I, at the time, I think it was heroin, but he would like have one beer and be like, <sighs> yeah. He'd be it. like, dude, I'm just tired, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, nah. Dude, that that cruise light took me down. <laughs> that's that's when we that's when we realized my sister was doing it because she, it was at a Christmas party and she had like two glasses of wine. Yeah. And then we went to Sheets. And when we were driving, my sister, my other sister was driving, came up to a red light, and my sister was sitting shotgun and had nodded off, just <laughs> smacked her head on the dash. Oh. And we we're like, "What?" She's like, "I'm just tired from the wine." Yeah. We we're like, "You have one glass, dude." Yeah, something else. You're on heroin. On. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty the, fun. That'd be nice for the Christmas party. Imagine like a nice sweater. Holy fuck, dude! Christmas lights, just sitting there with all your family. You're on heroin. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I, I give her credit. I mean, she stopped doing it. So yeah, that's just, that's a good run. I was telling Sean my brief my brief run with opiates. I, I weren't for me, but I remember it's like. What did you do? Uh, I was just selling perks. So like, I just my one friend was oh. like, "Dude, you have to try these things." One for you, one for me. Yeah, I, t- I took like a fifteen <laughs> milligram rocket set or something, and then I took a ten milligram Percocet, and then I drank syrup, and mm. I was like, I was pretty fucked up. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I was laying on a futon just like floating in that my seems- body. It's pretty nuts. Straight up cough syrup, or is there some? It's pro meth. It's pro meth. I was I was slanging that syrup. What's that? What does that mean? I'm picturing Pro-meth is, like Pro-meth is a purple drink, but not just not it's not just regulation. Nyquil. Like you have to get it from a guy <laughs> no, syrup. It, it was, was prescription. Sipping nice. Nyquil. I was okay. sipping syrup. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't DXM. I wasn't robo tripping. This was syrup. This was pancakes and syrup. I had Real the motherfucking pills. I had the motherfucking pills. I had the motherfucking syrup. I was. A you ever do any of those drugs? Uh, did the what, uh, oxy's I probably did a lot of, and I didn't Jesus. like. It. Probably did. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I probably I was being a gentleman eating Percocets. Oxy's straight are up, stuff. and I got them from. I probably uh, did a lot of oxy's. I I had a <laughs> probably a, a, a bunch of like it. broken noses and stuff, and I kept getting prescribed oxy. So at one point, I had a ton or oxycodone of cotton. Was it oxycodone or oxycodone? Well, which one do they give you for that? Like for broken stuff? nose, not oxycontin. Okay, it's oxycodone. Okay, they're the same thing. Oxycontin is oxycodone, but it's like eighty milligrams. But I was kind of liking them, but I was tweaking. I remember I one time. I, <laughs> yeah. I don't like them now, though. I think people love them. Dude, I used to, I was, at that one point, I was, I did like three days in a row. I would get up in the middle of the night and then I'll be kind of still tweaking on them. And then I would go to my computer. I go, I got to send this email to the guy. You know, they're going to get me and blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, hey, I got to, got to shoot this off before I get to back to bed. And I go, I can't find this guy's contact. And then I would kind of be like, what contact? What guy? <laughs> Who am I sending Maybe they were giving you oxycodone. No. I go, I don't even have a job. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, they, it gets you friggin' tweaked. That's yeah, terrible. They, I've heard I've heard opiates make people angry. I know. I know I'll I tell weren't. you that, dude. First hand experience, dude. I had a grumpy sister. Yeah, dude. <laughs> she, she was grumpy? such a fucking grump. Isn't dude. that just when she doesn't have it, though? No, you get if you take if you're on opiates. My one friend said That's Vicodin. Even worse. Vicodin specifically, he would take Vikes and then just be like pissed. <laughs> he'd, be like, he'd be at work. Just like, this for? He'd just be at work and just be like, just be like, fuck, dude. He'd be a, he'd be a dickhead. He's like, sorry, man. These bikes make me fucking mean. <laughs> Stop taking them. <laughs> he couldn't. God, that sucks. Yeah, yeah. Cause that's what happened. Once, once you get like fully addicted, you're just you, you're miserable. Yeah, yeah. Man, what other you're like thing taking I... it to not be sick, and then you're just mad the whole time. Yeah, uh, let me get my fun. coffee so I can get grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't talk to me after I had my coffee or before. Or you, you have to constantly <laughs> interact with pill dealers too. Uh, so shitty. It's nothing worse than hanging out with dudes who sell opiates. They are the biggest pieces of. I'm saying this, including myself, back in the day. It's you, just the. Were you biggest, a jerk? I was. A, I used to sell Suboxone and Oxycontin. So if when they people would try to get off Oxycontin, I'd be like, "Well, here's Suboxones," and I would sell those. Damn, you probably <laughs> killed a couple of people. Yeah, dude. <laughs> well, people, would, people would sell you Suboxones to try to get Oxys. So I'd be like, I'll trade, they're, dude. They're they're pretty. You, like the they're trail. at your mercy. It's a buyer's That's market. That's a hustle. <laughs> oh, dude, dudes, dudes. Then dudes would take some boxes just to get fucked up. If they if they like were off them for a while, like I'll just take a sub and get fucked up. It's the craziest shit. Dude, dudes <laughs> would smuggle methadone out in their mouth and spit it out and yeah, sell it. Yeah. It's crazy. Methadone's fun. The opiate thing is the most fucked up. It's fun to see. 
Methadone? Watching people crush methadone. Yeah, because you can take methadone you get and a Xanax. Wrecked from methadone, dude. Well, dude, if you take yeah. meth and a Xanax, a methadone and a Xanax, it's like being on heroin. They figured that out down at the clinics and all of them were like, <laughs> yeah, you're that guy. We're back, we, boys. I think we're you just back. switched to heroin at that point. I think, it, yeah, you stopped going to Well, the that clinic. way you can, pe- I guess you're right, yeah. <laughs> you're getting off heroin, but you found the perfect combination. But of it's free. Heroin again. It's free, though. You get the free You get the free methadone, and you just score a Xanax script, and you're, the party's on, dude. The party's yeah. back fucking you're, on. It's back to the party, dude. <laughs> you're with all your boys at the clinic, dude. You're like a... <laughs> <laughs> You're like the fuck. fucking end sync marionettes. <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, I wish we got. We should get into that. If pills? Should, yeah. We could probably. We yeah, could. We could. We, we could get addicted said... to pills and then run the podcast for like one or two more oh, years. That'd be so good. And just f- fucking drive this thing straight into the ground. It'd be so good. Dude. And then you'd have a whole, you know, press tour about how we're back and we're getting we're back. Off, you know, found and it would God. Never be you could find God. <laughs> it would never be that good ever again. <laughs> Nothing would be as good as watching a No, but it wouldn't podcast. supposed to be good. It's inspirational at that point. Watching a podcast deteriorate to drugs would be very fun. <laughs> be awesome, man. It's, oh, we'll see. We'll you know? see. I'll keep my eye on the numbers. If they start slipping, it's time. I'm going to start calling people. Like, You're... It's uh-huh. more believable at this age when the you know the 20-year-old that's got the drug problem is a big eye roll for me. The what? 20-year-old with the drug problem. Like in college, the guy that had to go to rehab for coke, you go... Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's yeah, kind of... That's yeah. bullshit. It's like, dude, come on. Yeah, there's a bunch of... There's people that are like, I was, I was an alcoholic. And it's like, when? <laughs> yeah. Like, when I was 19. There's a lot like, of comics that's that. They oh, go, my I've God. Been on, I've been off uh, alcohol. I'm 30 years sober. Yeah. I'm 50. You go, so you <laughs> yeah. drank a few times when you're yeah. 20 and you were a hassle. I saw a couple, com- <laughs> I saw a couple comics battle a uh, craft beer addiction. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. I'm an alcoholic. I'm like, bro, I've only ever seen you drink like IPAs. <laughs> yeah. You're not an alcoholic. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I was... <laughs> My addiction, dude, to fucking... I might have to check into rehab for Bud Lights. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to fucking Guinness. Yeah, it was crazy. No, you got to check into Fat Camp if you're getting too into the, the IPAs. Yeah, the IPAs <laughs> will get you. That happened, dude, to the whole alt scene. They, the alt scene, <laughs> you they all a got beard, fat yeah. as shit. That's what happened. Yeah, they got craft beers, dude. They did. They, they, they got hit with beer. the IPAs. And then now they all have beards and, they were and sweaters. Yeah, they, you get wide hips and a soft dick, dude. They got dude. jolly. <laughs> <laughs> Very jolly alt scene. Stop liking your, your girlfriend doesn't look as pretty i think ipas make you kind of gay definitely i think you get like wide hips or you start producing estrogen your dick stops working you're like why am i hanging out why do i live with my girlfriend yeah hang out with my alt buddies and then you just pretend girls are funny (laughs) for 15 years you're like i think she's hilarious (laughs) fuck you or it actually works you're like 10 beers drink drink deep you're like that's actually pretty funny you go what the fuck all right i got me off bartender You wake up to your Patreon, so you're like, Jesus Christ. Dude. That is what happened, dude. <laughs> dude I subscribed to the Call Her Daddy offshoots. <laughs> oh, God damn. That is exactly what happened to the alt scene. Oh, yeah. In Philadelphia, at least. Yeah, they got, I'm they sure hit. it was nationwide. <laughs> it's an epidemic. The, the craft Trump beers. Trump, Trump let him. Trump, Trump broke all of them, and they're all <laughs> fat bitches, dude, just sitting there like, this is not okay. I got something that'll uh, ease your tensions. Here, have yeah. a sip. There's oh, some yeah. IPAs, dude. The local communist lodge. That fucking destroyed <laughs> communism. <laughs> IABVs fucking. <laughs> Oh. True. Another thing called yeah, that fucked him up. It fucked up the comrades. I think, Commun- was, I think the CIA did that. The CIA gave the alt scene craft beers <laughs> to disrupt the communists. A couple of them got a little handsy. They did get a handsy. Couple, a couple of IPAs <laughs> start touching people. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, they did get handsy. They did, dude. They kept getting. It the was sex like, pest got handsy. <laughs> you guys <laughs> fucking grabbed the ladies' crush. They, they kept. They came out so hard against all that stuff, and then it just like one after the other. Like, oh, this improv guy grabbed my ass. Yeah, this all, dude. They they constantly got busted. I mean, there was sh- a guy in the Toronto scene that got busted for being like a legit child pedophile trafficker. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, dude. He was he was like doing child porn. Who Drake? Uh, yeah. This guy's name is Kai, I think. Yeah. yeah, he was. I won't say his last name, but he. he uh, so basically, when all this stuff was happening, then people started posting like, "Yo, did this guy get busted for child porn?" And then the people in the Facebook group took it down because they wanted to give him a fair shake because he was like one of their boys. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it came out. This was like on the news, right? And then it's. Oh, and he was fuck. straight up going to meet people to buy hard drives and stuff. Oh. That's a dark. You was know, he a alley- middleman or was he just like was he? Selling Selling some of it, or it was all head stash? I think he's more. This is personal. <laughs> and I, my body, who is his uh, uncle, was a cop or whatever. Because you, you, when you hear about someone get first time, you go, 
who that could be an accident a file ends up on your computer I don't know whatever <laughs> dude nobody buys <laughs> files no no, no. Nice, but all you nice. hear is like this guy this I go oh that could have been some girl he had a photo of a girl like I don't know exactly what it means sure right? that's fair then that's fair. but then my body was like no 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 if you get busted for child porn they've been watching you for a year yeah he goes they've been they've been checking on your computer that there's no the Mounties well because they know it ruins your okay, life Mounties are in there just <laughs> He's talking to children, hey. <laughs> they do the undercover sting. The dude is wearing like a fucking nutcracker hat. <laughs> That's what it is. Damn. Because they know they're... Was he funny? No, not really. No, they, they, hilarious they, they know that they ruin so your good. life if they put the accusation out there. So apparently they're a little bit sparing with it. Wow, that's nice. That's nice to... Yeah. Yeah, if cops are so bad. Out. Yeah, yeah. If you toss out child porn accusation, like, because then you go out, you all. That's the child porn guy. You go misunderstanding, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eric Walker. Oh, yeah, that's on you forever. That's a stink. Yeah, they do. They do pile up the evidence on you. They kind of they don't like. I only heard of one person who. It's because they're the bros, dude. They're like, dude. I look at porn every day. Anyone get caught in the crowd? Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not toss this out willy nilly. I know a guy in my college who got in trouble. He, I think he was eighteen, freshman year. And apparently his dorm got raided because he downloaded that one fabled like 17 year old girl gives hand job. He clicked it and apparently they busted into his room. <laughs> <Immediately>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he claims. He might have just been downloading tons of child porn. Definitely. I used to sell that guy tons of perks. <laughs> yeah, dude. You want perks? What's better than that, dude? Now it's time to fire up some CP. <laughs> You burned your fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Napster was full of that stuff. Like kids, was it? Dick while dad watches. Like whenever you type in just porn, <laughs> oh, man. It, would, it would list off like the wildest shit. Oh, dude, Napster. But it, would, no, some... it, would, it wouldn't be that. Like yeah. um, you know, it'd probably be like a Dane Cook video. Is what <laughs> yeah. it would actually be. <laughs> oh, That'd man. be nice if they came. Those people came in and kicked in your door for the seven, the fabled seventeen year old girl gives hand job. And you're like, actually, it's Dane Cook. It's just Dane <laughs> Cook. <laughs> it's always Dane Cook. Napster days, it was always Dane Cook. He was king. gather around and watch with you. It's, it's pretty good. This is hilarious. There's a guy spitting water right now. Fucking hilarious. <laughs> he, that was the funniest thing back then. Yeah. I saw Dane Cook when I was in college. And I was like, this is the he was, funniest he thing. He was incredible. Seen. Yeah. No, it's. What are the hand signals? Oh, That's it. I, Wait, I can't do it. I thought he was giving you guys a no, for 10 minutes. Keep it rolling. The, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Let's wrap this thing up. Keep cooking. <laughs> That'd be nice. A nice 10 minute and just be like, Man, that's it. Just sitting on perks. And, and we're off, boys. <laughs> trying so hard to move your arms to get to the CP. Yeah. <laughs> just like, <laughs> well, uh. the, the, perks, the perks are pretty fluid on them. They just give you perk head eyes. So you're just kind of like, all the time, your eyes are like squishy. You're like, stop, bro. Dude, it's my, so my buddy funny. would do perks or Vicodin. Whichever one just makes you sweat and lay there. Both? Yeah. He would come <laughs> in and just sit. I'd be playing video games. He would just sit next to me, just sweaty, just drenched. It's a sweaty drug for sure. That yeah. sucks. Yeah, the Vikes people complain. The Vikes people said aren't strong enough. The perks are the, the preferred. I had a good mushroom racket at Guelph University where I was selling pretty good, like pretty good amounts of mushrooms. That's nice. And then I had like maybe the worst mushroom trip of all time, and I got out of the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, when you I have my hat. when you have tons of mushrooms, and then you're like taking them, you're selling mushrooms. Many. Yeah, I took a quarter ounce that way when I was 19, being like I, I just grabbed a handful the one time. I was like, that was fun. And I took two handfuls. I'm like, this will be twice as much fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lost Turns my fucking it's mind. Not. Dude, I like walked out of my house and was just in the hood. And was just like, this is so fucking scary. I'm dead meat. <laughs> and I just ran back to my house and was like, ah. Yeah, yeah. I locked myself in my res room and I wouldn't come out. <laughs> You're in college. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you wore the plug. Go, you leave plug. me alone. Just let me die. <laughs> the, Canadian, the Canadian plug. <laughs> He's locked in his room like, this isn't cool, guys. It's not that fun anymore. <laughs> <under> the bed. <laughs> What'd you do? Did you have to offload the rest or did you have to no, like... No, what happened? The problem was I smoked too much weed while I was on all the mushrooms. <sighs> it was the mix that did me in. Damn, yeah, that'll get you. They heighten weed. Exactly, because it's the psychedelic component of the, you know, the mm -hmm. splits your brain component of weed. I don't like scared. that stuff. Mushrooms and weed, yeah, it makes you scared when, you, when you're on the mushrooms and you have a little bit of weed. Being scared sucks. Yeah, especially when you're scared <laughs> and you don't know what's going on. You know who I knew? I knew these hippie dudes. There, it was kind of like a town like fucking Portland or something, right? Mm. There's all these hippie dudes that played in these jam bands. And I kind of met them through music or whatever. And then these guys started, basically got me selling for them at the university. They turned you out. <laughs> <laughs> these guys turned me out. Gave me the bushies. They go, 
They go, all right, have these mushrooms. They go, all right, we got you on camera doing that. So they strap yeah. them fangs to your thighs, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you download a couple of CP for the next thing you know, you're working for these guys. Yeah. <laughs> they go, see what you just downloaded? You can do five in the bin or Did you, you uh, for us now. you make decent money? Basically, it was like every four months. At a, yes. You know what it is, right? That's very tough. Now it's different. Every four months, you come in, you go, you tell everyone. You you know, you got everyone does mushrooms in. now. Now you could you could just sell mushrooms if you wanted to. Before it was an Back event. in the day, you got mushrooms. Everyone like, nice. You do no a bugle one call horn. You back. Like, Ooh, mushrooms are coming through December 7th. Dude, people do them twice a year back in the day. Now, like people will constantly, everyone I know is doing mushrooms constantly. Yeah. So people, it's like weed now. Like people would do mushrooms all the time. A lot of like, people could try to get sober and be a mushroom guy. Dude, back in the day, it was rough. You'd cop the pee of mushrooms. That's what it is. Dude. No, I know. It's just like, that sucks. I have a buddy, and they go, you know, at the bar, he'd be like, every day, taking mushrooms. And you're like, this isn't better. Yeah. <laughs> Something's going to go wrong. Dude, you're, you're giving me PTSD when you cop the pound of mushrooms. You're like, I'm about to come up. You give some to your boys. They go, what's good? They're like, I don't want those for like a year. And you're like, fuck. You just have a pound of mushrooms in your apartment for eight months. You would. It sucks, dude. Yeah, that's, sucks. Part, that's part of the game, though. <laughs> that's part of the lifestyle. It sucks. Nice. Yeah, that was the worst part. Are you still getting mm-hmm. jacked with the trainer? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Dude. I just took a week off. I was skiing in Park City. Oh, yeah, skiing. That trip sound seemed fun. It was. It was. But, you know, fucking four straight. The, 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 Ari and Ryan O'Neill are good skiers. So they were just... I was just the last day. I was by myself on the fucking bunny hills, dude. That's right. Uh, that's good. No, it sucked. You were just really? waiting for them to come down and start partying yeah. and in the yeah. chalet. Yes. I had to sit by myself. Him? That's a fun one day <laughs> thing. Yeah. You just wait towards like the very bottom of the slope. <laughs> no, <laughs> dude. Like, oh, dude, back. I had to fucking. <laughs> You're cheering them on. I had to ride the lift by myself with like families. Ah, it's all yeah. little kids. What yeah. about Ian? Ian Ian was great. He had. He's good he was, too. No, he was a bad skier, but he had no fear. He just went straight. He would have his jacket open and stuff too. It was too. so fucking fun. You dude, die like that. He, this, this was the <laughs> funniest thing. So. We were like, dude, you can hit the moguls. You're very good. You can oh. do it. He was like, I'll hit the moguls. It's like, dude, do it. He goes to the top of this pretty steep hill of just moguls. <laughs> and he's like, woohoo, here we go, boys. <laughs> and he just went straight. And he hit it like a ramp, dude. He hit the first, the top mogul head on. And he was like, I thought you ramped over these things. Dude, he hit it and just exploded on the second mogul. Just he's, went off the top one. Doesn't he have one. like a chronically bad back? <laughs> yeah, <he laughs> right, does. dude. He was taking falls. No, that's why he's a maniac. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It was it was the hardest I've laughed in a very that's very very yeah. Fun, and you're like, you know, dude, you're gonna time. hurt yourself. He goes, I could be so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve yeah. it. No, I was I was I just kept talking him into ramps. You did the right thing. I was like, dude, you can do that. Yeah, you did the right thing. <laughs> yeah, you're at the bottom of the hill with four pints. Yeah, I was for them. so like, happy. <laughs> lunch, guys. Yeah, I just drank. <laughs> I had I had a nice blue. I had a couple blue hills, dude. They're which up in the Rockies, dude. That's no that's joke. nothing to sneeze at up there, bro. There's you start and you're at the top of a fucking mountain in the Rocky Mountains. It's terrifying. The there's a cliff. The sides of the fucking path is a cliff. Yeah, I don't like that. It was terrifying. I was like, this sucks. Being scared, dude. I was just no scared. Fun. Should be good times. That's how they break yeah. So then yeah. I got on the fucking green hill, the little bunny hill. What's the tube in just like? Me and children. Did you have to do the thing, the the pull, the pull <laughs> no, chair no, lift? Thank God. <laughs> What's no. tubing like up there? I was probably looking for good tubing. tubing. Tubing, yeah, you'd probably die. Tubing would be nasty. Tubing, yeah, it'd be terrifying. You ever see those like clear balls they put people in? What? Yeah, there's like a giant ball, and you get inside of it, dude. There's a video online of one that they lose control of it and it falls off the mountain, and they die. It's so scary. What do they hold? They have a string on it or something? No, it's just a clear inflatable ball. Well, how do you get stopped? There's there's usually stuff. there's like a True, ramp yeah. at the end. It like stops you. But this, they missed Fuck. it. They went off the side. And, and died? They, and they perished. Whoa. In a fucking dumb inflatable ball. Yeah. <sighs> That's how you perish. Imagine There's scooping a lot of the those. remains out of that thing. Yeah, you're all splattered up in there. A big turkey bag. There's a that lot of those weird sports. flying, too. Yeah. You Dying. almost. <laughs> yeah, you go, is this safe? They go, no, nah, yeah, yeah. And you go, yeah. a couple people did die. <laughs> Dude, while I was going yeah. up, I saw somebody getting fucking carted down. I was like, I'm not. This is... This is a little fucking risky, fellas. <laughs> you just had your poles dug in the entire yeah, time. I'm so like, scared, bro. <laughs> Dude, sea doing it. Same thing. Or like the, the, yeah. when you take the sleds on the lake. Like people, like three people die a year oh, every terrifying. single time. Dude, jet skiing is terrifying. <laughs> yeah. A jet ski not long ago was terrifying. 
Yeah, you and your lady fun. got lost in the waves. My lady got fucking. My lady really? fell. <laughs> but you don't. People don't die. Your lady were much. lost Dude, at sea. People get what fucked do you do, up. Hit your head? You can Is break your neck. You don't realize right. when you're fall when you're going that fast and you hit the water, it'll, it'll fuck you up. <laughs> it's so fun. It is fun. You ran yeah. in the waves, but you, with the, yeah, I had my wife. You should never do anything. <laughs> that's the, that's my life style. Yeah, dude. Can, I, did, I can't can, believe I, I went not, No one can be trusted. No event no. can be trusted. I don't like it. That's why I won't skydive. I refuse. Oh, I've been invited no. to skydive so many times. Dude, the teams asked no. me to skydive. I said oh. zero chance, dude. Yeah, I, if that, if I was strapped to the back, I consider it. If I got to hold a gun strapped to the back, and fire it. In the I, sky, it would be I would nice to have a team member on my back. <laughs> that'd be sandwiched. If I got fucking sandwiched, dude, that'd be nice. Oh, two team members <laughs> flying through the air. That's a dream. <laughs> Alpha Charlie, just give me a radio. Like Alpha Charlie Bravo. Alpha yes. Charlie Bravo. Yeah, just start making calls <laughs> to the rest of the teams. I had an ex that was trying to make me go skydiving. I was like, yeah, zero interest in doing anything yeah. like that. Won't do it. Absolutely <laughs> not on the out. docket. I won't skydive. If I was, if I was your guy's size, maybe. I'm a big unit, dude. <laughs> that's a fucking I really gotta trust that parachute I think I'm getting that trainer. And knowing me, be... I'd be a little fucking bitch about it. They'd be like, how much do you weigh? I'd be like, 230 none of your business <laughs> I'd, I'd be ashamed of oh, my so we'll actual get the, we'll get, we only need the the lightweight yeah. cables oh, well, you're you go, good. It's yeah, like, yeah yeah great be... <laughs> oh great this will be fun you get up in the plane you're like i lied about my weight <laughs> i know a dude who used to get stoned and go skydiving it's the craziest fucking thing <sighs> it was insane he would the guy because you gotta like if you do it a lot he was certified you gotta pay somebody to pack your parachute if you don't do it yourself and he would pay the guy in weed to pack his parachute. I'm like, dude, that would be, I'd be so nervous. <laughs> the person. guy was like high packing my parachute. <laughs> yeah, then I'm good. high jumping out of the, it was like, dude, <laughs> he got reprimanded for it. And was kind of like, dude, they're being ridiculous. I'm like, nah. What yeah. are they reprimanding? Including? They're like, dude, you stink like weed. You can't be high jumping out of the plane. <laughs> and he was like, dude, come on, man. Don't be a square. It's like, <laughs> they, got a, they got a good point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watching somebody fall straight down without a parachute would be pretty fun. Not, not fun, but it'd be funny to see like the guy who's like, "Come on, man, let me up there." It's just a little weed, and you just see him fly. Well, once you accept, once somebody's fallen, you accept it. You're like, it's your job, and you're like, he's. There's nothing I can do. It must. You must yeah. be, be like, well, all right. Well, this will be cool to see. I guess I'll watch this. I'll always remember this. It's it's an explosion, right? It has to be a. I think full... people bounce. What? I think one guy lived. I think. Yeah, there's been people what? who lived. Yeah. There's been people who lived. There's one guy. I think that was his whole shtick. Is he was like, I'm gonna jump out of the plane with no parachute, and oh, I guess he tried to catch a running, <laughs> catch a running start, just explode. Did he live? I think. Well, there has been people who lived. I mean, sometimes land. It's gotta no be. Way. It's gotta be just a failed. The dream parachute. is a tree. I think land. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, okay. Not no one's ever just like matrixed off the ground and been like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, no, you gotta die. You definitely die. <laughs> Even if you hit water, die. you're fucked. You're dead. True. There was that guy who jumped out of that building in New York and lived. He fucking landed on a car from like ten stories up. There's a video of it. He like gets up with like his arm like hanging oh. off. He's like, "Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> what happened?" <laughs> That's Pretty tough, great. jumping out of the big building. Like, yeah, and just, he lands on the roof of the car, so he's just smashed Was he trying to kill car. himself? Yeah. What a bummer. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> your life's way you worse. Just destroy your arm. There's, like, fail there's the guys that viral, they, like a they're trying to shoot moron. themselves, and they got their face uh, shot off, and they're just like, you know, I almost killed myself, but I learned to live. You go, this is worse. Like, yeah. You, yeah. If you want to kill yourself then, this has got to be a good, better reason. It's time. <laughs> Scary, though. You're like, fuck it, I'll do it. Then you do it once, and you're like, that was fucked up. That sucked. I don't have it in me. You don't have any for this. Second time. Second time around is tough. No, you got to hit. I, you go drugs the second time of jumping off the yeah. building didn't work. I don't know why people don't just always go drugs. You can fuck that one up too. You know, if you, you just have to accidentally have enough. a great time. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> <laughs> no, that stinks. Are we kicked out of your apartment complex? You overdose. If you try to kill yourself, you overdose. You get <laughs> kicked, kicked out. out of your apartment <laughs> complex. You got to go to rehab. Yeah, really? You reset the whole clock. Yeah, they'll get kicked out. If you overdose. Off the lease, immediate eviction. <laughs> they don't fuck around. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Off the fucking. That seems fucking. That's where all the homeless people are from. That's a good way to try to get your sp your spouse out. You yeah, know what I you mean? You gotta jump right out. Oh yeah. Just poison her with heroin. Poison her with heroin. You like try dude. to commit suicide? She's gone. <laughs> you go, babe. That still sucks. You're that off the lease. That would be pretty but... easy to do. I'm like, again, I have no interest in murdering my spouse, but that would be. <laughs> yeah, me neither. You could like <laughs> couple people. And you could easily poison somebody. And be like, yeah, they fucking killed themselves. That's crazy. Definitely. You can get away with that pretty good. Yeah. Back in the day, that used to be the main move to make someone oh, disappear. Imagine poisoning your husband, dude. Dude, back in the day, you Girls, could probably make That's what ladies serial killers do. They're always poisoning people. No, they never get caught. They poison them and then take care of them. 
<laughs> they like make them sick for years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. That's actually nice. That's a good way to die. Just get Gaslight slowly them. poisoned by your wife. Yeah, but she's probably so. To you. She's probably so mean to you. Though. She's probably like, you never do anything <laughs> right. And you're sitting there like, fuck. Yeah. Why does my stomach? She's putting like- arsenic in my fucking food. <laughs> also, that guy. You got to be an idiot to not figure that out. Yeah, I would figure it out. I would get How? one dose of mercury, and I'd be like, bitch, what the fuck? Yeah, I would you would right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd just be like, Ugh. once you pulled a blanket over me, I'd be like, what the fuck's going on? You're up on? to something, lady. <laughs> It's like a dollhouse in the room. I'm like, what's happening? You want some soup? It's mercury, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you see it like separating out of the water. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. That'd be terrifying, dude. What? Go Having ahead. a Munchausen mom would stink. Munchausen by proxy. Or whatever. Yeah. They leave you when they like, like, no, you're sick. And they make you like lay around all day inside. And you're like, my mom said I can't come out. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's just being like, he's sick. It's such a fucking perverse pleasure. <laughs> It's milking your kid for sympathy. Yeah. I might munch out my fucking girlfriend. You should. Be like, you're sick, babe. You can't go anywhere. <laughs> you should just give her laxatives constantly. <laughs> and just be like, babe, it's not safe for you. <laughs> Stay in here. We're safe. <laughs> just the convince- porcelain can't handle it. <laughs> oh. Just convince a chick she has like total Crohn's. Just be like, babe, I love you for who you are. <laughs> She's like, I can't go anywhere. <laughs> you're a clinical fart machine. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> It'd be a good way to break up with a girl. Just you can't start dosing her with laxatives and be like, "Listen, these dumps are out of control. <laughs> I'm going home. I don't even know who you are anymore. <laughs> you used to never shit like this. <laughs> now you shit all the time. Yeah, but they girls would hold. They'd hold it in though. They would. They'd hold it in in the name of love. Like they would just. That would kill them. That's not good. For they would you, die. Either. Yeah, they would die. <laughs> like, nah, you guys all right there? <laughs> like, <laughs> Babe, what the fuck? We talked about this. You gotta stop <laughs> shitting constantly. <laughs> Babe, it's Thanksgiving. My whole family's out here. What the hell? <laughs> no, it's a fun thing to do is when the girl goes to the bathroom. Generally, that's when they take their shits before their showers, right? Because yeah. it's the only time it's safe. But three minutes after they did go in the shower, go knock on the door and say, you need to get something. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I need to get something quick. Anytime my girl goes to the bathroom, I go in immediately and go, ew. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I didn't do it. I'm like, did nah. you fart? <laughs> this happened to me yesterday. Yesterday I did this. I could promise me right now. Swear to me on everything. You didn't fart in there. And she's sitting there like, I didn't. Oh, dude, you know what gets them fired up too? I was I was sitting there yesterday cleaning out. I was cleaning out my closet, dude. Oh yeah. We, had a, we were getting like some work done in our house. So I had to get everything out. Yeah, I was so sorry to my mama, dude. I had to clean all my closets and everything she would she would like get she's like, I'm gonna give this to Goodwill and I just go. You're a good girl. <laughs> you so mad. You fucking stop. I'm like, yo, you're a good girl, man. You are a good, good girl. good ass girl, yeah. My girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're bringing that over. You're she, can't, so she can't stop taking me seriously. <laughs> and I can't, I can't be around someone that takes me that seriously. So like, no matter, I'll be like, did you put the fucking cups away? She's like, yes. <laughs> Dude, I yell at her constantly. I guess the laundry's just doing itself today, huh? <laughs> yeah, dude, I'll say shit like that to her, and she'll be like, "Well, I'm trying." Oh man! I used to call my ex fat, and she was like tiny. It was like, which is why it's okay to call you fat. Yeah. And she'd be like, "Well, then whatever. I, so I'll stop eating or whatever." I go, "Are you fucking out of your mind? You're, if anything, you're anorexic looking. It's gross. Put some weight on." <laughs> Stupid fucking bitch. Yeah, they don't handle the funny, like the funny jab. No. They'll give them out. <laughs> yeah. No problem. But yeah, if you hit them back with one, it's like. <laughs> it's nice using high level SAT words on them. Yeah. What do you hit them with? Boy words. Curmudgeon. I hit her with a curmudgeon. curmudgeon. Boy words. I don't know Color if that's curmudgeon. a high level SAT word. <laughs> curmudgeon. <laughs> Pretty high level. It's 1100. That's 1100. No, it's not. <laughs> it's curmudgeon's like a fucking old person. Anything in four syllables. Any four, this girl's it, ridiculous. You know. That would get I, I called her. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, four syllables. Three, I think that's three. But. Called him pig headed. Like you're being pig headed no, right four. now. Four. Just literary terms. Pig headed's nice. Hit him with literary terms. Pig headed. <laughs> You said I had a pig head earlier. <laughs> the next day, it's like, what's your problem? I don't have a pig head. <laughs> yeah, hit it. I, I, I'm so excited to go back to my girlfriend right now and yell at her. That'd be fun. And I tell girls you don't want to have kids with them because they there's something wrong with their genes. You, know? you go, I don't want my kids to have That's those a good hands. Prank. Like, it's hot on you, but what if we have a boy? He's going to have those weird little hands or something. That's a good prank. That is the nice thing to mind fuck a woman. Like, I could, I could just never have a son with you. 
It's like, unfortunate. You would bear me Your a dad's weak too weak. You would bear me a weak. <laughs> Your father's son. too limp wristed. <laughs> Your father's not a man. <laughs> You should ask me, like, what's the size of your father's penis? <laughs> yeah. Like, what's the size of your father's penis? I don't want to sire a, a child with a... A small penis boy. Or that, or maybe one with bigger than mine. You might have to King Herod the situation. Yeah, we're going to need be some like, Speedo pics of your dad. Yeah, if, you don't mind. Like, if it's, it's all the same to you. If it's too big, I'm going to kill like a like a male bear. I'm going to kill my firstborn. <laughs> <laughs> Competition. <laughs> Yeah, that would be that would be tough to have a have a son and just have have a fucking hog. I think I'd be okay with this. Like son with two the or hog. three years old and just being like, it's catching up quick. <laughs> yeah. He's nipping at my heels, dude. Well, you, you get the nice glory days. It would come out and the nurse would be like, you'd be able to like, obviously, you know, fall. Yeah, fall. true. You get to talk it's to the nurse. Like, you'd have to start stuffing. You'd have to start stuffing. Look at this bitch. Yourself? Yeah. yeah. Have a nice little runner. Yeah. Sun was, comes out with a small one. I'm worried. You're I might, I <laughs> I, dude, I might start stuffing. I'm not lying. You should like stuff and dude. Conor McGregor posts pictures constantly with a stuffed fucking dick. Really? Either that or he has boners constantly. <laughs> that's the rap scene. You gotta see this. That's the more guy. likely. I think he does have boners constantly. He's gotten so jacked, and all he does is post pictures that are fucking. He's probably wild. on T, so it might be erection. Really? He looks. He you looks get a lot of like erections on T. I mean, I don't know more testosterone. Yeah, yeah I think you, I think assume. you do. I think you actually. Do. I thought. That would be bad it for your could be the Every opposite, picture, though. he's got a fucking boner. Now you're right. I don't get it. Let me see. Let me see yeah, his boner. Yeah, weird looking. <laughs> Let me see his boner. I can't see. And you take a bunch of photos, right? What the so fuck, dude? You don't this need is to the first the picture one. I looked at. Hold on, I posted one the other day. It was great. It looks he's, like a talked boner. He got so fucking strong, dude. Yeah, that he's doing his fitness program now. Dude, he's like 200 pounds. He fought at 145. He's huge, and all he does is have boners. I'm on the old <laughs> school. Right yeah, all the way to the penis. In the next one, does he have the hog? <laughs> I think he Bar is. school guy posts those too. They like to post with it poking out. Really, a little poke out? Yeah, they, it's not really hard. Yeah, it's, it's they like to see that they like to be a tip imprint almost. Really, I have that. It's just the fucking pointing right at you, dude. <laughs> Give me the old witch point. Well, he's like a Russian sub, dude. Yeah, <laughs> You know, it's nice to get like a chicken part mashup, dude. I got the same thing. I got fucking dead to sights, dude. Just fucking yeah, right down the scope. Little mine's James like a Bond. Pool yeah, <laughs> like a pull stick, dude. Just fucking. I like mine pointing upwards. You got uh, a dong, don't not you, hit, dude? Not hitting the band. This guy, <laughs> this guy clearly has a huge <laughs> dick. Yeah, you have it's your dick pointing upward. You have a big dick? still not hitting the band. Yeah, once you talk about moving it different directions, I'm out. Yeah, we're fine. Mine's fucking. You have a big penis. Long and attention. skinny. Real fucking. You got blade the probe. Of, you blade got the of grass. <laughs> hanging out the window. <laughs> The probe. If you, if you if you wrap it up and then put it together, you know you make a full. Dude, I was talking about the tuck method. I, I told my I, did I tell this on the podcast where I told my the trainer that I I told we were bench pressing and I was like this brings back memories. Yes, and you I didn't told tell him me about, about this. Yeah, you I told him it. about it. You didn't tell me about that, and he was not excited about the story. What the hell? I I don't think. And then the next day I came in, I wore a t shirt that would, had jizz on it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. I go into work out. I take my hoodie off. The shirt has clearly has jizz on the side. Yeah, try. And I was like, "By the way, this isn't cum." <laughs> just and he was like, "What is it?" And I was like, "It's definitely cum, dude." <laughs> he was what? like, what? "This is crazy." <laughs> this guy's sick of your shit, eh? <laughs> no, he's the man. But yeah, oh. the day after I told him my dick came out when I was bench pressing. Dude, he thinks you're trying to fuck him. Dude. <laughs> the next day, I came in with a cum, with a cum tribute <laughs> on my shirt. Took a cum walk at the gym. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe it. This Having the guy happened. yell at you seems like a pain in the ass. You should have told him. You should have been like, "Dude, I'm just auditioning for like a Korean game show." Like, <laughs> I have to wear cum. <laughs> What's he say? Was trying he trying to get in touch with we, my we, feminine we, side? He, we moved on. No one. I mean, we did the workout, but <laughs> there was it was very visible semen on a black T-shirt. What's next? What are you gonna hit him with next? I'm just gonna have to fuck this guy. <laughs> I'm going to just try to kiss him. You have to. He <laughs> listens to this. He's going to, this is going to be an awkward next time I see him. <laughs> so it was cum. Yeah. It was definitely cum. You should be like, can you train me in jiu-jitsu? True. Start, start fucking, wrestling with him. Like, hold on, what's that one where the guy gets your back and just fucking pin him? Be like, uh. Oh, man. If he pins me, he's a handsome guy, dude. He's going to, oh, fuck, I have to go tomorrow. This won't be out. Nice. He buys me some time. Yeah, he won't get. I actually got a shout out to the dude. I left Buffalo, a TSA guy. He was like, yo, man, saw the show last night. Never listened to the podcast. Oh. But, dude, it was great. I was like, thank God you never listened to the podcast. I always <laughs> brag about like smuggling weed <laughs> pens through the TSA. That's awesome. He was the man. Dude, 
he was eyeing me. He was like this, and I'm like, fuck it. I'm looking at yeah. him like, what's up, bro? I'm like trying to just get, I'm like waiting. I'm like, there's my bag. Let me get it. And nice. it, was, it was totally clean. Nothing in it. But the- uh, You never know, though. Yeah, that's I the thing, dude. That, I always yeah. got to give a good look. My school bag could have anything at any time. I never know. So it's yeah. like, dude. Yeah, he was like, hey, man, I was there last night. And I was like, dude, that's so funny. I'm glad. They can get serious, too. Like, you know, there's a bit of Coke on the toothbrush, stuff like that. Mm. Good. They'll get, that's when they do that last little scan. They scan you for like <laughs> yeah. a tiny thing. You know, My like body, that. they took him for that. Like, well, yeah, this guy specifically, he kept getting stopped. But this one time they got him on the toothbrush and then he goes, they're like, oh, you got Coke on your toothbrush? And he goes, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I do Coke. <laughs> <laughs> they really ran his toothbrush for real? <laughs> well, they, I don't know if... The, I can't remember how it happened, but basically they, I don't know if it's like the dog or the thing that senses it or something. Yeah, they do yeah. have that thing they can touch you and like if you have any sort of like particulate on your Yeah, nose. and then once they get that, then they start going through your stuff. Oh, yeah. And then they go, we're trying to find stuff, they use this thing or whatever. Yeesh. But then afterwards they go, you know, they don't, they can't, like if you just have the shit and they don't find anything, that's, yeah. they can't yeah, do anything about it. at that point. Dude, already... Leaving Still Utah. spooked though. They Not took, fun. Me and Ari went to different security things at the airport and they took his lighter. So he comes over to me. Mine took forever. He's, he comes over like, <laughs> and I was like, what's up? Dude? He's like, I fucking hate TSA. And I was like, yeah, for sure. And then I realized he was serious. Like he was like furious. He's mad. Dude, he got in a fight with TSA. Really? They took his lighter. He was like, Big you black fucking lady? losers. You fucking loot. Now it's Utah, so it's all <laughs> honky TSA. Yeah. He got in a fight with them. They brought over the cops. I'm like, dude, chill the fuck out. Yeah, let it go. It's just a lighter. I'll buy you a new lighter. And he kept spazzing. Then we walked past, me and Ari walked past a cop. It's clearly on the sign, too. A cop and two TSA agents. He goes, I hope you fucking die. Eat shit, motherfuckers. Stop Eat shit. It. I hope. To the cop. And then fucking Tim was like, bro, it's a lighter. He's crazy. That's wild. Dude, and he, he got away with it. They were just like, oh, real nice, mister. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I hope you fucking die. I was like, dude. Damn. Don't say that at the airport. Bad boy behavior. He was a bad boy, dude. That's Ari's a bad wild, boy. wild, dude. Yeah. I, I get, I've been getting off on respecting the hell out of like the TSA. I respect the fuck I've been out of them. begging to get pulled over just so I can be like, I'm oh, sorry, officer. Sorry, yeah. but you know, what everyone says about you, they ain't it's right, dude. Yeah, it's dude, not soon, true. As soon as you get pulled over, it's like, it's crazy. they said it'd be crazy when you meet your heroes. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually very, very funny. Are they actually hiring at the fucking uh Yeah, like, I'm thinking about joining the force. Yeah, joining the force. You gotta ask for a professional. Your dad courtesy. must be proud, huh? <laughs> My dad doesn't like cops, oddly. Yeah, when you get older, you get enough DUIs and tickets, you start to really fucking hate cops. Dude, so many people that probably, you know, from like, di- <laughs> yeah. like you get one DUI, dude. I always said enough DUI. Yeah. <laughs> it's my fifth one. It's a fucking pain <laughs> in my ass. Yeah. You guys are fucking riding me. <laughs> no, I love the dude that probably like hated cops forever and then everyone started hating cops and they're kind of like, oh, maybe I like cops. That's what happened to me. Exactly what happened they to me. flipped. I flipped totally. <laughs> you have, I started I'm loving how you guys, you guys don't like them. I'm like, I think they're pretty cool. I don't know. The job's pretty hard. Yeah, I was I was pro cops until one guy got me, and then I went full BLM, dude. Did you really? Yeah. What'd you, when did you get? When did you get snagged? Remember, it was it bankrupted me, dude. It was like a hundred fifty dollar ticket. When you I was got, like, well, that's all I have. I'm done. Oh I'm yeah, finished. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, some guy followed me. It was at Sheets, same Sheets my sister nodded off at. Bullshit. Yeah, he followed me in, dude. He checked my license plate. Realized I didn't have a fucking registration. That's uh. And then he followed me out. I'd like to punch him in the belly. You didn't ask for professional courtesy? Like, sir, can I ask for professional courtesy? It was a disaster. Sir? Also, my side mirror was missing. You should have lied about being an EMT. But, sir, I'm an EMT. Can I have a professional courtesy? <laughs> <laughs> ask for professional courtesy is great. I, I really do wonder about those dudes who have, like, I saw a guy the other day who had, a, like, two first responder flags. It was, like, or it was three. It was firefighter, ambulance, cops. was waiting yeah. in his yard. It's, like. That must be so sick. To like just be 52 pumped. and be like... King of the city. Yeah, and just be like, fuck, dude, there's an ambulance. God, I fucking love those guys. I love those guys. They're so cool. I wish I did that. Yeah, it'd be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That'd be so sick. Be like, damn, man, there they go again. <coughs> Probably helping someone out. It is nice to be like 52 and that autistic for like fire trucks. Yeah, that's what I'm like, saying. Look at those things. Yeah, to be, to be still that much into it. Yeah, I'm not pumped on anything like that. Trying to get, I'm trying to get into more stuff, dude. But it's like, yeah, it gets, it gets, I'm not it into, gets harder the older it you sucks, get. Dude. I'm yeah, not it's not a into married it. man thing. I need more things, dude. I'm I need hobbies. I need way I, more things. I was just do. thinking about it, dude. I, I, yeah, I'm, I, I hate everything now. Yeah. I don't even know what to talk about on stage. Really? I'm not interested in anything anymore. 
You go yeah, on stage, that's... everyone's talking. It's like, I don't care about fucking Russia. It's all you know gay. what helps? Uh, going back to the basics of trying to find a new band that you like. Just start poking really? around. Yeah, talk to people. Spotify, like, Discover yeah, Weekly. Find a new band you like, and it kind of you go, all right, there's cool yeah. stuff getting made. There's stuff that's cool. I find Bro, that helps. I'm going to try to download that new video game, Elden Ring or whatever. That'd be cool. That could video be big game. for me. That could be big. I need more video games. Go into the fantasy realm. I need to escape into my fantasy realm. I might, I might go fully into the metaverse. Everyone's shitting on it. I might get really every ten it. days. I'm like, I, you know what? I should get back to reading. I haven't touched. I don't I'll, even touch, I'll never read again. I, I don't even touch a book. That. Really? I just look at them and I go, ah, never mind. I, love, I read constantly. I love go, I, 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 there you go. You got stuff you like. I actually have too many hobbies. I think. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I have too many hobbies. <laughs> I think I do, but I, everything like I, yeah, like I'm, I can't get into music anymore. Shows couple good shows come out. Yeah. That's just something you do. Stinks. That's not a hobby. True, yeah. So that's that's girls think that's a hobby. It's not. True. <laughs> shows. Yeah, they'll, shows. They'll be like, shows. Oh, I like You're going right. to dinner. I like movies. You go, yeah, not Dude, hobbies. Dude, Spud's yeah. dad, yeah. our friend Andrew's dad held it down, still does to this day, that movies are for girls. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> he's like, the ultimate man. <laughs> that's very funny. <laughs> you see a movie, he's like... <laughs> Girls, you watch, watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so tight. <laughs> like, watch a fucking movie. <laughs> Movies are for girls. Dude, is amazing. Such a tight way to hold it down. Like, all that make believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of. I agree a little, dude. It kind of rules. <laughs> Getting into make believe is for girls. <laughs> <laughs> like, what about docs? You can watch PBS docs. That's yes, for men. and you can only watch like uh, Thunder Road Truckers. You can only watch like reality TV <laughs> oh, job shows. Yeah. That's it. Like, pff, you see that shit they hit on fucking gold mine parties, yeah. dude. Is it, that's the only thing. Like, those roads up there in Alaska, are son of a bitch. Oh, is that Tommy singing? I think so. That's so great. That you're that's kicking around that's pretty cool. <sighs> yeah, I get dude. all my history from uh, Robert Green books. That's the only. That's the only place that I've ever enjoyed my history. <laughs> what you know about R. Green? Nothing. I never, yeah. Who's R. Green? 48 Laws, the 48 Laws of Power guy. Oh, oh nice. God. But yeah. basically what he would do with all his books, he was kind of the original pop culture book guy for a while. Really? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> this thing is incredible, yeah. But he used to, um, like basically every, he would go through historical things and tell them. So it's like, that was my, it's kind of like my hardcore history for me. He's That's like yeah. my, I'm Glenn Beck. I get all my history from Glenn Beck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You find a guy that like also <laughs> ingests some history. I want, yeah, my dad got into Bill O'Reilly for a Bill O'Reilly's a big my dad, story, My dad bro. very, he'll, he'll read like one chapter. Yeah, that's all you like, need. I'm, I'm, I'm just finished. You get the gist of it. Yeah, killing If it comes Kennedy. up, you can comment. You go, World War II? Yeah, I heard it, but that one's the, <laughs> I know who the guys were. The geezers are reading the Bill O'Reilly history books. Yeah, they love them. Plump the cheeks on the seat. Is that what he's a, doing now? Post me dude, too. Like for a little, fire, yeah. dude. I think his one book's called like Muslims are a problem. I think that's <laughs> <Stop. laughs> no, it's, it's Islam. I think there's a book called like Islam is the problem. <laughs> they funny. are taking our jobs. Dude, imagine taking a dump. You're 50 years old. Fucking <laughs> actually they are. Yeah. Yeah. I knew something was wrong with my life. Just going in depth. It's in the, the Muslims fault. <laughs> Shit's not going well for me. It's good that's for the Muslims incredible. right now, dude. It's Russians. People are giving the Russians fucking hell, dude. Well, the Russians are up to no good, dude. That, dude, you got. I'm gonna. That's gonna be a nice prank to hang Z flags above people, your friends' houses. <laughs> yeah, you would get attacked dude, if you flew the Russian, the sign the of Russian, Russian flag right now. The Z. What, what Z? I think a Z is like the Russian Azov, aggression. The Azov Battalion. I think so. Z. No. I, again, I'm, this is just secondhand. I haven't first. I haven't like seen it. But someone was telling me if you like, there was a like an Olympic guy who put like a Z patch, and that's like a pro Russia aggression. Oh, really? Yeah, I believe it represented. Some sort of invasion or something patch yeah. that they would wear, the military would wear. Oh, okay. Oh, great. This podcast is really there's. there's what time is it? Hey, how man. far? How far into this are we? We're forty some minutes. Jesus in, 45. H. Christ. People are cooking around. That's this is the critical. Oh, we're doing ads. Studio. Oh yeah, we gotta oh, do yeah. ads. We gotta do ads. That'll get us through this the hustle and bustle of this apartment. Yeah, dude. Oh, my car's about to expire. Um. Guys, guys, I know we're joking around about being fucking, addicted to nicotine. Yeah, but we're for just real? joking, dude. What do you like about Lucy? Let's be honest. I, I love uh, that I'm not smoking cigarettes anymore. That's nice. You don't have cig- you don't have, like stinky cigarettes. Oh, breath. I hated it. Yeah, when girls smell cigarettes, they think you're just like a total fucking loser. Yeah. Total fucking loser. I disagree. <laughs> oh yeah, that's why you have such a tough time having sex <laughs> <laughs> because you don't use Lucy. Yeah, that's it. 
You yeah, smoke guys. cigarettes and don't get pussy. Yep. Yeah, are you trying to be a That's modern exactly man? exactly what happens. <laughs> are you trying to be a modern man or some relic of the past dude, where you stink like chemicals? You can just be quietly and discreetly. Is adjusting. that what it says in there? Are you... No, I'm making it All up. Right. I'm an old I like it though. Quietly and discreetly being addicted to nicotine. True and private. Rather than being a dumbass pluming. It's like, Ugh. like coal. It's like burning coal equivalent to nicotine. I like that. Yeah, what too. do you think you're a fucking? What are you, an idiot, dude? Smoking cigarettes? What the <laughs> fuck, Sean? You're this is your man. intervention, Sean. It's really, it's just sad. Sean, we're really worried it about is. you. We want you to check out the full line of products at Lucy.co. Why don't you try a lozenge? Code. Sorry. No, go ahead, please. No, no, no. Use the promo code. Drenched. Drenched. At checkout. That's Lucy.co, and be sure to use that promo code. Drenched. I actually fully endorse Lucy. Yeah. I sure. use those things. They're very good. Warning. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Although, like we said before, science is never a complete process. So we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and also, who cares? Well, I mean, who cares? What dude? isn't addictive if you think about it? True. Hell yeah. Dude. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, dude, please. Can you take the sports one? Oh, yeah. No, I want you to do this. Can we do sports? I did it last week and <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> guys, guys, no, for real, guys, can we buckle down? The biggest college basketball tournament of the year is on now. Who you got this year? <sighs> Didn't the top six teams all get kicked out like that first week? I saw yeah. that. Yes. Is Gonzaga still in it? Gonzaga is. I root for Gonzaga every year. Gonzaga so. is I got good. I got Zaga going. <laughs> guys, DraftKings Sportsbook you like has. like the Zogs. I like the Zogs, bro. <laughs> DraftKings Sportsbook has an incredible offer. New customers can bet $5 on any team to win and get $200 in free bets if they win. If Whoa. you lose, Whoa. you're just a fucking loser and you don't get anything. <laughs> Guys, we already talked about our picks. We're all going to Zaga. Awesome. Sportsbook not available in your state yet? Call, get in on the action with DraftKings Pools. Everyone can play free pools all March yeah, yeah. long for a shot at a share of over $250,000 in prizes. Holy shit. Down, that's what? That's crazy. For free. You don't even have to give money. You can win. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's nuts. I wonder why they do that. Probably to get you addicted exactly. to gambling. <laughs> Probably to trick you into getting addicted <laughs> into gambling. Oh, just get your body used to the feeling of the adrenaline rush of gambling. <laughs> Everybody, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code DRENCHED. Bet five bucks on any college hoops team to win and get $200 in free bets if they do. If they win, you win. With promo code drenched this week at DraftKings. Promo Sportsbook. code drenched. Take take the zogs. Take the zogs. You're getting two hundred fifty bucks the whole way. Through. And now you've got you've got the bug. Now you're gonna have fun gambling. True. You like gambling? I'm gonna get into gambling now because it is fun. Now dude. that I got yeah, the, can, the zog, if, as they say, the zogs. Dude. <laughs> if you if you want to be responsible about it, start a little savings account for your gambling and call it like your kid's college fund. Yes. <laughs> or go it. into your kid's college fund and put yes. half into quitting smoking and half into, <laughs> That's what it's and for. half into gambling. Yeah. Guys, also, restrictions apply. Uh, look, See show for details. If you... Gambling is fun. It is fun. Just think of any night, any regular night. It's just a regular night. It's oh, fun. there's sports on. I don't give a fuck about Man's these activity, teams. Man's activity, not like watching movies. Yeah. It's like, I don't care about these teams at all. How about I put a lot of money into this to the point where this means everything to me. <laughs> so every night, I mean, think of think of like any movie you watched if the consequences were real. You know what I mean? Like you get to do that with sports. You can turn it into a real life yes. fucking major issue. Yes, it's every very night, fun. Yeah, this any, matters. This matters immensely. You go, this oh, you're watching stupid games, none of this matters. I it does now. Yeah. You're, you're Trust basically me, the lady. owner of the team. I you're promise the the team. you this matters. This matters more than anything you've ever done with your fucking life. <laughs> lady. We need Oregon State to cover, <laughs> or we're sleeping out in the tent. Oh, now it matters. <laughs> yeah. oh, Get in there. Put on your beaver gear. We're cheering <laughs> for Oregon State. Betting is makes things. It does make things so fun. We used to yeah. bet on sumo wrestling. Very very fun. Bert. Betting on sumo wrestling is incredible. Come here. Just sit down. Come on. Pop a seat. No. Yeah. Where are you going? Oh, Grab a seat. No no no. Hey, sit down. Look at this fucking guy, dude. This is a classic Ooh. New York boy. Classic New York fella. Ooh. Wait, oh, he had to make pee-pee? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he had a pee-pee. By the way, a lot of a lot of terminology of mine. Do you guys know each other at all? Yeah, we met. All right. Burke. We met. What's up, brother? Burke's the fucking man. Thank you. Dude, Salam thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum to you as well. Assalamu alaikum. Salam. Yeah, dude. Can you sing some stuff in Muslim for us while he's peeing? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know Muslim songs? Yeah, he does. Muslims are on top right now. I'll be honest. Muslims are back. Oh, Here, there, there we go. Get in the middle. Uh, there we go. 
Get in the middle. Yes. When I went to uh, <laughs> the the, the uh, competitive eating, the the hot dog you competition, so I couldn't get action, and Gino knew a guy that would get action on the competitive eaters. <laughs> so you, could, you couldn't buy it on any of the place, and he was really? calling every book. He like, come on, you got to give yeah. me action on Chestnut, and he was trying to get. But he, and who'd he you bet on? Uh, Chestnut, Joey Chestnut. I mean, the odds are you Lock. know hundred to one, but. That's the only reasonable bet to make. True, yeah. He's never lost. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he didn't, Kobayashi never got him? Kobayashi can't play anymore. So basically, Kobayashi, uh, they said if you want to be in- <laughs> You're big in the competitive eating. <laughs> if you want to be in a major- Yeah, yeah. If you want to be uh, in major league eating, you got to sign the contract. You can't- It's kind of like how the comedy clubs do. If they said- yeah. And Kobayashi said not doing that. So He's basic, too honorable. He's too far too honorable. Kobayashi really? takes the system. You're not gonna, yeah, you're not gonna pin him down to one contract, right? Is he the champ though? He was at the time, but then Major League Eating said he can't compete unless he signs the contract. <laughs> so then Kobayashi went across the street and set up his own competition the same day as Major League Eating and beat the record. So he said, basically, your records don't matter. Wow. <laughs> Fuck. Dude, how do you know about fucking Major League Eating? Big Joey Chestnut guy. <laughs> I like Kobayashi too. I want to get Joey Chestnut to do a video. That's the craziest <laughs> fucking sport. It's incredible. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's terrible. Well, isn't don't they eat like how spaghetti dare you talk and shit? About no, 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 don't no, they no, eat no. like other food stuff? Oh no! Well, a lot of them. So a lot. Of <laughs> <laughs> this is good. A lot of the competitive eating guys are famous from being like YouTubers and stuff like that. So yeah. it's kind of like you when the YouTubers nice? have to come do stand up, right? Shoe nice. You ever fuck with shoe nice? I know, I know these guys. I mean, they're not real deal, but <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's fun to watch their YouTube videos, right? You know, but so so basically, they don't want to uh, uh, do the competitions because it's bad for their brand to just show up and get murked by some actual real deal competitive. Yeah, eater. true. Whereas he's he's having fun making his I ate ten thousand oyster videos, but it's like on, you put man. him in the real arena, he just gets exactly. Destroyed. You see the reels, they're like, what the fuck, dude? Did you just do a bump in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> just come no, you guys back and just talking like, about competitive start, eating. He started talking about betting on sumo wrestling. I go, oh, you know, that's fun. That's that an age old, so honor fun, tradition. Dude. I would love to do that, yeah. Dude, that is that that's what my nice. two ex girlfriends are fighting. I say, I'm betting on the sumo <laughs> over here. Yeah, I'm not yucking your gum. Competitive eating is something. It's just such a, it's got to fuck people up from other countries. It's nuts. Oh, it's got to be watch a people just gorge themselves. Like, woo. <laughs> yeah. They take it seriously, too. And then I the, bet. Oh, here's the, it was, it was in, you know, where uh, it's Coney Island, right? Yeah. And the guy comes out. Did you go uh, to it this year? Yeah. Of course you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? You're yeah. in the competitive eating. You like. Well, kind of the way that you'd be into like wrestling, I guess. Like. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. It's it. so very much. Into You're the it. only guy I've ever known <laughs> that. Yeah, no remotely. one ever wants to go. <laughs> I assumed. I assumed my was, no, my buddies from Toronto are kind of into it too. Really? I assumed well, the crowd was just old Chinese ladies. It. I thought it was just old Chinese ladies there. No, no, it's like Hicks, buddy, and they get the you know <laughs> De Blasio comes out and, and then everyone boos the him. Coward, he sucks <laughs> on all the hot dogs. <laughs> they, all, they all boo him. They boo the coward. They're like, get off the stage, pussy. <laughs> We're here to watch dudes and then, eat hot dogs. And then the chief <laughs> prosecutor came out and everyone loved him. <laughs> this really? is like peak BLM. The guy comes up and he's like. Like, you know, we locked up twice as many as ever before. And everyone goes, that's a real man. <laughs> fuck you, de Blasio. What the fuck? So wait, these hot dog contests are also that, clan rallies? And they're like well, sneaking in alt-right shit? I'll just say like, the clientele that goes to hot dog eating competitions. Yeah, yeah. A little different from the, Brook, the Williamsburg uh, pub. Lock her up. <laughs> yes. Well, there's two. Wild. When I'd I like went, there was a this. guy and a girl and the dude was like one of the top competitive eaters and his wife was one of the top girl competitive eaters. So Whoa, like a competitive eating damn. couple. Just love and diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they have eight Joey, and the, the main guy, what he does, he keeps hitting himself because it, like he's trying to, he has all these techniques to try to get it going to the right spots in his oh, belly and stuff. It's, it's, it's disgusting, yeah. What's what's is it always hot dogs or is it like they ever do like lasagna? Lasagna I'd pay to see. Major League Eating mainly does hot dogs at Nathan's because that's the Nathan's one. But no, they do... Uh, They'll do well. A lot of these guys do the B League kind of. It's the equivalent to the Mexican wrestling, yeah. Where they go around to some state fair and they do a crappy, you know, pie eating competition or some garbage like that. 
<laughs> not respectable. What's the most? What, what have you seen cuisine wise that was like? What's the best cuisine you've seen competed upon? Well, I don't watch those ones. The hot, the Nathan's once a year is the only one. But the, okay. these guys, they bring them up to their things, so they go. And this guy was uh, finished first place in the Iowa State, you know, clam eating championship or yeah, pizza there. eating or whatever. <laughs> I would like to see. I'd like to see competitive candy eating. That would be sick. So you know, competitive you know, candy? That'd competitive be nice. candy. You should see me on Halloween, nineteen ninety eight. It's just twelve year olds. King size. I think that's what a lot of those guys do on their YouTube channels, right? They well, a lot of those guys got popular from like eating detergent and gross. That was shoe nice. Like shoe nice was glue. That's that guy. He would like chug a bottle of vodka. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a big one for those guys chugging the bottle of vodka. That's an easy one. Man, that must that fucking suck. Terrible. Yeah. Chugging a bottle just as soon as that hits. Hot stuff. That probably moves. hits so hard. Uh, it's dude. You probably just black out in like. Yeah, it's, you just, it's like anesthesia. You probably just go under. <laughs> it's, it's nuts. Yeah, I used to drink. I know I a guy in high school drank the bottle of vodka, smashed skateboard on his head. That was his trick. Jesus. I used to I used to chug like doing? six shots of vodka and almost fall. Construction worker. <laughs> he's a construction <laughs> worker. Nice. Hey, apparently, uh, no. He was, he was one of the one. He was. I guess it would be roofer more than construction worker, but fell off the roof and he was out of commission for a bit. Nice. <laughs> Possibly. We're not sure if it was vodka induced. Nice. Shit. Probably hacks so much darts though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this. Hey, this Burke. is Burke. What up, buddy? You were taking a tank of water. No problem. Oh, no. Come on, get out of here. Yeah, let's let him. <laughs> yeah, yo, just close this out. Give us Bert. final word. Yeah, final word. On the cast. Final word on the cast. What do you think about Russia Ukraine? Go ahead. <laughs> what do you think about Russia Ukraine, dude? Both good or both bad? Both good, both bad. Switch it on. Switch it on. Oh, ooh. Uh, <laughs> NATO is a tricky, tricky thing. Yes. Right? Amen to that, brother. North American is, Twink Association is what I'm talking about, huh? Yes. <laughs> this is a good podcast. <laughs> what do you think you, about NATO? It, it is tricky. Why, what do you think we should do moving forward? What would you like to see done? If you had your druthers. My druthers. That's a good one. Hit, hit, your women, hit your women with that. Druthers. You're married, aren't you? Yes. Do you ever yell at your girlfriend as a joke? Or your wife? Wife? Uh, as a joke? Not, not so much. Not. <laughs> I've just got I into it. I come in locked and loaded. It's a fun so joke. Much. It's a fun I'm a joke. I'm a big fan of the Klitschko's. I want to see Lomachenko get a gun. Oh, we're back to Russia. And I want to see nice. uh, Usyk yeah. also uh, get strapped up. There's some good fighters who I haven't seen out on the front lines yet. <laughs> Is Lomachenko out there? <laughs> now, he's such a good... Klitschko's are strapped. I saw that. guys hand to hand, though, because... I'd like to see Khabib. Lomachenko's a little small. I'd like to see Khabib join in. <laughs> yes. They should just settle it like that, like champions. Yeah. That would be tight. Just have both armies be like, all right, Khabib versus. Where's is Khabib? He's Russian. He's who are they? Dagestan. They would fight Klitschko's, uh Ukrainian. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Klitschko would probably actually Klitschko's geezed up. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. He's too geezed. He might be too geezed up. That'd be a huge way to settle it, though, once and for all, if you yeah. got the two guys to agree yeah. to it. And, and the then Ukrainian the whole world watches. Put it on pay per view. You guys takes. get to split the money. Yeah, and the Ukrainian competitor could have like an American fighter like sliding him weapons. Yeah, just giving him every now and again throwing like a stick in there. Yeah, that'd be tight. That'd be fun. All right, well, guys, that was a podcast. That was a great podcast. Ryan Long, check out Ryan Long's special. Yeah, dude. White immigrant. YouTube.com slash Ryan Long comedy. Look Hell at yeah. that, dude. Check it. Check it out. Get, Get in, in there. there. The boys cast. Get into with the Ryan yeah. Long podcast. Get check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Train by day. Ryan Long by yeah, night. Check it out. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Just go in there. Click click a couple uh, buttons. Get on the tube there and just... Uh, let's just call this one a day. Call it a day. Yeah, we can promote on the next one. Let's do it. God bless.